Ingrazio, what's the most pleasing aspect of Um Yeah, I suppose it's the effort is probably the big thing. Like, and that's you know, um, it was there's plenty of moments where the, the guys are they're pretty clinical, like in terms of taking opportunities, which is pleasing as well. Um, but like, it's a semi final, isn't it? Like, it's you know, we were at this stage that last year and. Um, you put in a big performance um, and to a final. So the, the, the season structure is, is, is different this year. Um, so we're into quarter final there next week. So um, got to get our heads around that quite quickly, isn't it? But the, the most pleasing thing is to be in the final because like, that's what it's all about. Um, and in many ways, it's for us, it's right. Yeah, the job is done. Um, of that, that part of the job is done. And, now it's turned our attention to, to what's the next challenge going to be. So uh, we'll watch the game with great interest tomorrow. See what comes out of that. Um, in the meantime, as I said, you know, like coach is already, you know, towards the tail end of this week, you're 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 turning the page into sharks, and then so when the players come in on Monday morning. It's just reviewing the game and take the learnings from it. Um, things we can do better. Things okay. Well, like there's some excellent parts of that performance. Um, and um, yeah, just look forward to the next challenge because you're at the stage of the season, isn't it? Like, so we know, as I said, we've got a quarter final, but like, we've never really had a sequence of games quite like this. You know, we were looking at the very start of the season um, and the prospect of being here, and even the fact that we're playing a quarter final here as well because Bruce Springsteen is playing in the RDS, um, which, is, which is, is great in many ways because it makes it quite like tidy, isn't it? In many ways, because we're back here next week and you've got that type of sort of that battle ritual in many regards um, so yeah no, it's, it's back to the question what's the most pleasing thing to be in a semi-final or sorry to, to win the semi-final and to be in a final um, but it's, it's trying to manage the next little period will be the key bit there was lots made of um, yeah, guys missing Johnny James Robbie in particular how uh, mm-hmm. it to see others step into their, their roles um, yeah no, that goes I suppose like from the, you know, the coaches through to the backroom team um, you know, Robbie goes down and picks up a, a nothing too major, hopefully. Um, and then Charlie steps in and he's he's ready to go. Charlie Natsai, so you know, I thought he was excellent for whatever that fifty odd minutes that he played. Come up with some really big moments. That fifty twenty two big post turnover, um, big a couple of big defensive plays that he has as well. So um, he's strong in the contact. So um, yeah, no huge credit to him. And you know, obviously, as I said, the the rehab team to get him back in in that type of shape. So. Um, and yeah, like there's, you know, you go through the season like there's, that's that's what you got to deal with um, at different stages and different points, and rely on the group and as the group have got to work hard for each other, and you saw plenty of that out there today, um, and there's a great response I think from the supporters as well because I think you know you see that sort of connection that that's that's the real special stuff, isn't it? Um, where the supporters are seeing moments from the players. That they, that they like, they like what they're doing, how they're doing it. Um, you know, from as you, as even on the drive into the ground, you know, you're coming down Bob Turpentine and turning past the Sandyman Hotel there and seeing the blue flags out. And, and like, hopefully, we see that next week as well, you know, because um, you know, we maybe tweak the team a little bit next week because I think it's just trying to keep that freshness there um, and whoever's there. So, hopefully, we get a big crowd again. Um, you know, so that's, that's the thing about the next. Well, we did four weeks of the season, so I think last game of our season is the, the URC final. Um, so we have a quarter final here. So if you win the quarter final, you can advance to a semi final. Um, but at least we know we've another final. And, you know, for the group that's there, you know, we've you talk about some of the players that aren't playing today. So you know, some players won't play for Leinster again that are, are in our group. You know, and you know, we had a couple of retirements earlier on the season as well. So it's just really enjoying the time together now. And it's as I said, like it's. As a player, you never get this time back, um, you know. So it's it's trying to maximise everything in this in this window. Um, you know, we talked about a five week window. Now it's a, it's a four week window left. We hope we know that at least there's three weeks to look forward to. Might have be two games, but it's three weeks. Um, so it's just enjoying the time together, uh, which is great. James, congratulations. Um, it's also been an impressive performance today. Um, but what do you feel you need? Um, get an idea of that on, on Monday, I think. But um, yeah, look, we obviously conceded what, over twenty points, so 
just defensively we've got to keep getting better um, you know, it, was, it was disappointing to concede that mall try there at, at the end um, and set pieces is so important at this point of the competition well any, any point of the competition but particularly in the kind of knockout European games so um, just got to iron over those kind of things um, making sure that whoever we are playing have, you know, we're not giving them access into the game through through the line eight drive or through the scrum. Um, but uh, yeah, look, lots of positives as well uh, that we're happy with. But um, as Leo said, it's it's an important kind of block of the season now, um, and the games just keep coming. So we just got to dust ourselves off now, um, review the game, and, and take the lessons from it. Because if we want to go one step further, we've we've got to improve definitely. Uh, Leo, is there any chance of Johnny coming back for the final? No, as in, yeah, like I'd be shocked. So, no, at, at this point in time. Because any more questions for the live element for Sunday's radio online? Good Leo, can I just ask you about this Jack Cohen? Is that the best you've seen him play in a few years? If you could be very honest about the problems he's had recently in form. Yeah, yeah, like it would be interesting to listen to some of what he had said uh, recently. Um, yeah, and he had his challenges last, towards the end last season. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, he's been great, you know, through the Six Nations, and you know his time, his form, really, really well. So, big physical carrying game for him. Um, so, yeah, no, it's 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 great. Glad Jack's come through it. So, um, that's the thing. There's always little things going on in the background <laughs> that not everyone's privy to. Um, and how you navigate some of that during the course of a season. So, um, but yeah, no, he's really good game today for Jack, and he's been in great form over the recent weeks. So, um, hopefully, it kicks on now, has a big impact in over the next couple of weeks. Sorry, James, I could ask you um, just from the point of view of looking back at last season and then this season with the South African teams being involved in the, in the European competition, just where you are now and where you were last season. Is, uh, has it been a, a tougher competition this season, or is it more or less the same as it was last last season? Is the URC tougher? No, the, the European competition with the South African teams coming into it, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely tougher competition to win with the with the addition of the, the four big South African teams. Um, so, yeah, I, mean, I think now it's a, it's a tougher competition than ever to win. Um, but, yeah, I think it's great for the tournament. Um, you know, to see Champions Cup games and um, with you know some of the, the best South African teams playing in them, it's it's pretty cool. Um, so I think it definitely definitely adds to the competition. Uh, Leo, just uh, Antoine and, and Hugo were in here as well. They're saying it's hard to argue too much when you guys put forty points on them as well. But, but what's your kind of opinion on those kind of yellow cards that went against them, and then even just talk of maybe one that could against went against Porter there before half time as well. Um, yeah, like they're, they're obviously they're, they are big moments in the game. Um, cards are part and parcel of the game nowadays, you know. So um, how you manage those periods, whether you, you know, obviously you, you have the advantage if you're playing fifteen v fourteen, and how you expose, you know, who's off the field, and that that's the big piece for us, making sure we really understand where the opposition are vulnerable, because you're always trying to exploit the opposition weaknesses, aren't you? So and same the other way around. So. Um, yeah, we have a different instance during the course of the season, and yeah, making sure that when it, whatever happens, you're able to to manage that time. Um, you think back to the the game when Kalen got yellow carded a few weeks ago, and you know that was ironically probably our best period in the game, um, where we come up with a big moment with a seven man scrum. So, <clears throat> regardless whatever way you find yourself in those situations, uh, make, making sure that you're able to deal with them. So. Um, yeah, no, I think, uh, as I said, that sort of adaptability piece um, has been pleasing from, from our guys. Uh, 